He's employee number 11 at KTA Superstores on Hawaii Island. And for decades, Derek Carisu has worked in a local food industry using his plantation style values to serve the community. And his latest venture is no different. He's showing people how to cook easy meals with simple ingredients and a dash of his signature excitement. Welcome to the man and the pan. Today I'm gonna to do something really, really easy for you. I'm gonna do a lettuce wrap. So what I did first, I talked in. Hi, I'm um, Derek Carisu. I'm the uh, executive vice president of KTA Superstars. You know, I was born and raised in uh, Hakalau. It's a plantation town about 15 miles away from Hilo. You know, that's where I got all my whole foundation of life is out in the sugar plantation. And I'm really proud of it. My dream was to work at KTA. So in order to get into working to KTA in those days, you would have to carry a 100 pound bag of rice. So my father would come home, we would buy a 100 pound bag of rice and I had to practice. So as soon as I came 16, and that was back in 1968, so you do the math, how many years I've been here. But you know, at 16, I got my first job at KTA. So you know, I've been here, um, Quite a bit of my life, <laughs> you know, and um, in fact, KTA is my life. You know, the food industry is my life. You know, making sure that everybody gets fed is my life. And that's the reason why I'm mean, working at KTA enables me to do that. So it's an unbelievable experience. <laughs> oh, plenty of milk today. Eh? Oh, yeah. Eh? <laughs> eh? Hey, good student, right? Eh? Hello, how you folks doing? Good. Uh. Hey, guess what? I'm at KTA, the best looking girl in a while. Oh. Wait, but who's the best cook? The man in the pool. Okay, big chuck of everybody. Awesome. <laughs> Welcome to the man and the pan. Today I get something really exciting. So okay, much, uh, so the man in the pan is a very interesting um, segment. So I didn't realize, or I didn't know what Instagram and all the social media was all about. Then all of a sudden I said, wow, you know, that's a great way to kind of promote what we do. I video it, I edit it, I cook it, I figured everything out just myself. I'm one man army. And so I, I kind of make mistakes and then I'm going to have to go and redo the whole thing. And you know, for me, yeah, the thing is done in about maybe half an hour. <laughs> the thing that takes me a long time is cleaning up. <laughs> the burger look good. Let me see how it tastes. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Mm. What inspired me is when I go down to go on the floor and I see a lot of these senior men. They'll walk down and they're sad or they don't know what to do, they're confused. And I'll ask them, you know, so what happened? And they would tell me, oh, their wife passed away or their wife's sick and they just don't know how to feed themselves, you know? So my whole thing is to make sure every man knows how to cook. Here I got some beautiful Ali mushroom, okay? It's grown right on this island. Just chop them up into small chunks. A lot of my recipes basically from my grandmother or my mom or all these plantation kind of recipe. So it's so basic. Salt, pepper, shoyu, sugar, you know, vinegar and all the simple ingredients. Not all these fancy spices and stuff like that, you know. It's real simple ingredients. I dumped in some, some black pepper. Uh, just enough for taste. Okay. I shop every day. After work, I walk the store look at every single thing that I have, and I'll cook something that I see that kind of excites me. So that's the advantage I have over everybody else that doesn't work in a supermarket. So I encourage all of you guys to work in a supermarket. Eh? So how the produce, top shape. Eh? Yeah. Top shape. Yeah. Enjoy. You bring food, everybody comes, yeah? That's a why for you. When you go to a potluck, everybody brings a specialty, something that they're good at. I have aunties that were known for their salads, and this other auntie was known for chicken, and uh, you know, so when they come together, you go on. What unbelievable feast. Yeah, it's not just the products they bring, right? But it's the, it's the thought, the feeling, 
The identity is like in them. When the ground pork is fried, I'm gonna cut up the With man in the pan or all my cooking shows or whatever I do, I try to make it fun and simple. Okay, today I'm gonna do a tofu salad. I love to do tofu salad because you know in tofu salad there's all these different kind of ingredients is what Hawaii is about. So here we go. Derek has been such a wonderful asset to our community and he actually has reached out to Kamana Senior Center and the county on many occasions wanting to give back to the community. Um, he's given a lot of donations, supported us with events, and just more so wanted to show his presence to the seniors. Yeah, put some romaine vegetables in. Oh, look at look how sloppy me. The teacher giving me stink eye. Oh, yeah. Huh? Derek has definitely a vibrant demeanor towards everyone. Loves to always make people laugh. Put on the tomatoes. You know my mom man, it was so funny when I, when I grew up. She used to tell me um, all all Waimea girls they eat a lot of tomatoes because their cheeks are all red. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they had red cheeks. Yeah, how you like that? and he lights up the room with whatever he does with anybody. If it's a cooking demonstration or if he does an activity with them, he really makes people feel as though they're welcome and enjoying their time with him. But it's not all yet. I get one something real special. The most expensive stuff of this dish, right? When I bought plenty, because I got them for free. It's on Pegu. You know, what is important going to the senior center is, you know, as you notice, you know, it's not about me cooking or feeding them. It's about me telling them, thank you very much. You know, you know, we don't, we don't thank them. We don't thank the seniors for all what they've done for us, you know. And not only, it doesn't only come from me. I always say from your children, 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 and future generations. Because, you know, a lot of that we don't tell, oh, thank you, mom, or thank you, dad, for doing this for us. So, what I do is I, I, I try to go there with a frame of mind that I, I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful. You know, when you look at, you look at all these seniors in the crowd, right? They don't want made us who we are today. And, and, it, and it's just a simple gesture. So cooking for them, it's just one thing, right? Um, honoring them or making them laugh is a whole new other thing. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to eat. <laughs> And I want to see you imitate me, how I eat, okay? Mmm! Oh! see, okay, go ahead, okay. Oh, it's so good! Okay, come on. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's really good. This is really good. It's really good. But when I walk out of the place, whenever I go places and I walk out, when I do stuff like that, I think I've gained more in myself than they have gained for me. So, you know, I, I always walk out and say, thank you for this opportunity. Derek definitely is somebody that I think a lot of people really, he inspires them to be active in the community and give back. So just by watching him, I think a lot of people realize that that's what his personality is about, always wanting to give back. And that's really what it is, community first, because our community is the most important factor of everything that happens around us. So if everyone is working together, then our community is so much stronger. In fact, well, even when you think about KTA, right? You know, I've been here a long time. I've been working here for four generations. And there's so many people I worked with who really helped me along, who really, I know, sacrificed so much of their lives and their family lives and everything else, you know, to make KTA what it is today. And with that, I tell myself, I, I, I just gotta make sure that this company here thrives and survives because it's all about them. So, you know, the senior is just, just a big inspiration for me. I think Derek, he enjoys the social interaction. 
So I think for him wanting to continue to just do what he loves to do, and I think that's also what makes it more worthwhile for him that he hasn't retired. He really does enjoy what he does. And I think that's what really makes it more worthwhile for him to continue to work and continue to impact the community. And so he definitely keeps himself busy. And even if he does retire, I think he's still gonna be <laughs> busier than ever. I work for Koichi Taniguchi. He was the founder of this company. And maybe that's what keeps me here this long. You know, he was a real nice, humble, shot man, wearing a white shirt. He used to sweep the sidewalk every day. And the customers would come up to him. Thought he was a custodian, right? But that, that kind of actually keeps me grounded. And maybe that's why, you know, for me, I mean, every single person is important to me. But one thing, Mr. Taniguchi really um, instilled in me is you got to make sure you be humble. You got to make sure that you can communicate and be nice to everyone. My favorite delivery guy right here, eh? Russell Maga. Thank you, thank you, uh, thank you. I find that, you know, by uh, going on the Instagram, all of a sudden you have people all in the mainland and everything else in Japan. They thought, hey, look, the man in the pan, right? They asked me, I'm the man. In so they, they're, they're all watching it, right? And, um, and also the younger ones, um, you know, they, 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 they think it's funny. So, you know, I think I'm making a difference in the world. And, you know, that's what makes me feel good about that series, The Man in the Pan, making a difference and actually spreading aloha, especially to the mainland, because there's so many people, right? From here, move to the mainland, and they say, wow, man, I remember my shoyu pork that my grandmother made, or my Korean chicken that my auntie made. I wish I knew how to make it, right? So I do it real simply, just really, maybe it might not taste as good as them, but after I eat it, I go, mmm, tastes good, right? You know? But that's the way it goes.